So today is Wednesday and yesterday we took a video working, trying to get her in the water. Um, it's already better. Today I walked her down here, led her down here, put my mud boots on and got in the water with her. She went right in. Didn't even test me. So I worked her in the water, made her go through it three or four times, made her go through it straight. She did it. It was, it was awesome. I'm not, well, I'm muddy. I'm muddy instead of wet this time because she's actually going through and spraying mud on me. So the true test now is if she'll go through the water with me on her back. First try. Here we go. But did, can you tell, I don't know if you can tell in the video how much straighter and truer that was. That was much better. So I'm going to do a little more this time. My leg. Woo-hoo! I heard all four feet go through there. Good mare. Good mare. To reward that, I rode her all the way out of the tank, up the hill, and I pet her over there. Okay, so now we got to try this way. We did it on the ground just a minute ago. Good. Don't do that. I can't even get her to go forward. There. What about go up? There. You see how she scoots her body away? Okay, so I gotta line her up straight. There. There. Man, you're a pushy man. She's just, she's telling me. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. There we go. But look at that. Okay. Two feet was better than yesterday. Way, way better than yesterday. I'm going to ride all the way over here again. side right in the water. See I want the butt to go in the water too.
problem is she doesn't have an eye on the left side of her body, so she can't see the water when we come up at it like that. Good. Whoa, we're not rushing. Whoa. This horse is not scared of the water. She doesn't want to go through the water. No. She's being obstinate. Good. A lot of right leg. Okay. We're circling back and doing it again. Part of the problem is she doesn't have an eye on the left side of her body. Part of the problem is she's probably been let skip going through the water. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. So she learned maybe that she could act like she's scared and not have to do it. She learned that that rearing. And she's cho choosing to rear instead of go through the water. Good. Which she's probably gotten rewarded for. She hasn't been made to go through the water after rearing, I'm sure. It's pretty intimidating, and that's her goal is to intimidate when she rears like that. I'm gonna stop here. Oh. Make sure she knows she's good. That was so much better than yesterday. So she's gonna try and test you, I'm sure, tomorrow. Just because she's good with me doesn't mean, you know, tr respect doesn't transfer. So just because she respects and trusts me doesn't mean she's going to with you. She's probably gonna make you earn it like, like she did me, but now you know she can do it, and you can push her. And if she does try that that popping up, rearing stuff, you need to take her around, pull her around, and then spank her forward because balking and rearing are both both really hard to deal with because there's no forward motion. So she's she's learned that she's pretty good at it, but it's doable. She's not scared of the water. She just doesn't want to go through the water. And remember, too, that she can't see. So, you know, do it so, <laughs> so that she can see it. And then do it so she, when she can't see it. Set her up for success. Okay.